Welcome to Batch as a Programming Language Tutorial Section 2, Comments. This tutorial is for people who have completed the Section 1 tutorial, if you have not done so please do so before proceeding. What is covered in this tutorial? In Section 2.0 we will learn to add comments using the colon colon method. In Section 2.1 we will learn to add comments using the remark method. To get started, navigate to the syntax batch file we created in section 0, open the document to be edited as we did in section 1. Within the start label under the var set function, type echo, this is the first line. On the next line, type colon colon, the second line is a comment and will not be displayed. And on the third, type echo. This is the third line. Take time now to pause the video and make these changes. Using the colon colon method of commenting, all text following colon colon is a comment and will not be displayed in the console window. We covered this briefly in section 0 on syntax. Comments are used to give someone viewing the code of the script an idea of what the script is or what a section of the script does. If you did not earlier take time to pause the video, again to make these changes to our batch file. Making sure we change the opening comments appropriately, create a directory for section 2 comments and save our batch script as 02.0 underscore comment dot bat. Close the file after saving it. Run the program to make sure it works as expected. Lines 1 and 3 should be displayed but not line 2. Press any key to exit the program. Once again, open our syntax from section 0 to be edited. Like before, type in echo. This is the first line, and echo. This is the third line, with our comment between. Instead of using colon colon, use rem. rem is an abbreviation for remark, which is a synonym for comment. Using this method, all text following rem is a comment and will not be displayed on the console window. This method works exactly the same as the colon colon method discussed in script 2.0. Here is another look the script 2.1. If you did not before take time now to pause the video and make changes to our batch script. Making sure we made the appropriate changes to our opening comments, save the file into the section 2 directory as 02.1 underscore comment rem dot bat. If we run the program, the console display should look exactly like script 2.0. Thank you for watching Batch as a Programming Language Tutorial Section 2. I look forward to seeing you in the next section.